could you tell us about your top five drummers? If it's top six or top eight, we won't mind either. <laughs> it's top 60, probably. <laughs> um, wow. Dave Weckl will always be in, in, in my top range. Every time, I, I think I, I know what he does, I thought, pretty well. I studied him a lot. I, I, I know a lot of his projects that he played, and I've been a fan for a long time. It's the same with Steve Gadd. Uh, I think they will always be in the pantheon of, of my kind of favorite guys. But what they have in common is that, although I think, oh, I know them, and the, every time I see stuff of them again, I think, like, oh, my God, it's so good. <laughs> you know, mm. I, I get the same feeling again that I used to have when I saw them for the first time or... or so, so I will always love them dearly, and I think they're absolutely badasses. Um, another one in that category is definitely Steve Smith, which uh, has become also a good friend, I'm proud to say, and he's a, uh, such a master and really a, has been, I would really say, a mentor to me, and, and I respect him a great deal, and I think he's a monster musician and educator and businessman and everything, so I think he's awesome. Uh, Stuart Copeland has been my teenage drum crush, and uh, I've, I've ruined many ballads trying to play like Stuart Copeland um, <laughs> in that time, uh, and he probably would be proud of that. Um, and I later got the chance actually to work with him and getting to know him, so that's a f that was a full circle moment for me. But there are many others. David Garibaldi, um, Dennis Chambers, um, Jeff Hamilton, the list goes on and on.